Hello, welcome week three of a lot of world to play through of the PCM World DB draft. I am doing it here now. I know it's wrong time for you Europeans, but 3:50 in the afternoon for me in New Zealand. I say I say over the end of the weekend, and I won't have a chance European time evening to do it. So hopefully, when you guys wake up, you'll enjoy this first stage, stage 15 is a melting stage of the final week. Let's have a look at the other stages will be, so we have a mountain stage, medium mountain, medium mountain, one sprint stage, really all just climbs in another kind of second, it's not even on the last stage, oh, here we are, at the end, let's remind ourselves who's in which jersey, Damien Housen is in the red jersey, white jersey is Tobias Johansson for pay to lose. Best climber Andreas Kron and climber Anna Delay. So goes Pergio. Go Spurs go. Is when the team classification. Favorite of today's stage is Johannes and Helen. Woods, Lopez, Klaas, Halsen, Train, Posivio, Venetfeld, Venkils, and Schultz. Start on my iPad, that's a good idea. 
Anyway, who's attacking is Andreas Kron, the KOM leader for. God, I forget what team these are. For Team Wim, he is joined by Arietta of Bora, Sebastian Berwick, Robit, Christian, and Sweeney are trying to break across. A lot of riders trying to get in today's break. Let's wait to where they're established before we properly call out who is who. Still more attacks going in the peloton at least. It is Tessin, the sprinter for Team Ineos on the front. Meanwhile, a large group of 22 riders in minute 20 up the road. The brake does not seem to be working. It seems that the peloton is slowly reeling them back in. The question will be, will some riders pull out of the race? due to the easy pace. Einhorn now for his team on the front. Week two, scroll the way out past week two. Let's get to the front of the bunch here. Let's just quickly go through who is in the breakaway. We have Van Moa, Martin, Berwick, Calzoni, Del Toro, Fidel, Case Ball, Aaron Gate, Thrivnes, Ponema, Outruba, Johannesson, Piek, Vertiligo, Arietta, Rabit, Colombo, Kristen, Degent, Kron, Schultz, and Sweeney. Quite a decent number of riders. Apologies if I sound sick, it's a stupid hay fever. <laughs> okay, here's the start, let's do it. Let's just scroll all the way to the bottom of that, there we are. Who's gonna take these? The points here looks like it is Del Toro who is going off now. Number 79, he is, he is Lubas's team. And about no, Sebastian Berwick takes maximum points there, that's 10 points. But Kron and Pellard. Pellard's still second, but Kron's still in the lead. The Peloton has slowed somewhat. I guess that's just to allow the breakaway to continue on their course. A lot of points up for grabs, but they're not getting too large of a gap, so I do not think they'll make it all the way. At least not all of them. Puncture for Kristen. Oh, I was disconnected. Kristen has punctured out of the breakaway. He should be able to make his way back in at the back of the peloton as Fagas Throm, who has been dropped. He will likely not finish the stage. It is the Norwegian champion, Drivnes, of SGM's team. And then of Aaron Gate of Pan Paddock's team. In second wheel, the hint of Adi's team. Adi beats, I think. No. 112, my mistake. The Walshman. Still the rider from Jaco, 155 of Menlada being dropped distance. 1.5 Ks to the K win point. Who's going to attack for this one? Is it going to be. Oh, it's Yes Ball, not Case Ball. I said Case Ball, but I made a mistake earlier on. Will it be one of. The Swiss, oh, there's a lot of riders attacking actually, everyone's kind of going for it. Nick Schultz there on the right hand side, or through, but through the middle, looks like Sebastian Berwick once again. Berwick takes maximum points there, looking at the, uh, what do you call it, uh, provisional time points. No change in the overall 
Sebastian Boek, number 203 of. So go Spurs, go. Takes second KOM classification points. Peloton now being still being led by Enios is Mark Stewart and Jason Tesson on the front. We also have Julian Simon of team Pay to Lose helping out as well. There's a fall by Voissard. Oh, Mika Engar Lopez has fallen too. He's on the rise. A big pile up of riders. If runners up, but Lopez is still on the ground. Seventh overall, Miguel Angel Lopez of Lubas's team is abandoning. Unlucky for the for Lubas as he loses his leader. Big upset there. We have it. Lopez has withdrawn from the race. The hint is leading up the next climb. Aaron Gates always up there, but not gaining any points. I don't think in any of these climbs. Negative. Another five points up for offer. Anyone who's going for the KOM jersey will want to be in it. The peloton is just there behind them. A steep climb. It looks like a few riders on the breakaway getting a bit tired, sitting towards the back. But they're not dropping, that's the main thing for them. Meanwhile, eight minutes down. Fagastrom still holding on. I don't think he's going to make it today. Here we go, 800 meters to go. It is Yitz Bowl in front. Berwick is second. Wheel on the right is Andreas Kron. It's a big sprint. Looks like Yitz Bowl took it ahead of Berwick. Kron still in the lead. Berwick now in the top ten of that classification. Looks like the Peloton's calmed down. They're only they're now three minutes behind. A few more riders dropping off the back. Quite a few more riders actually. Hamza, unfortunately, Bleeker and Einhorn. Red Walters and Daniel Tekla Hamanot. Ericsson and Schwartzman. Matteo Malushi from Tashkent also looking a bit dangerous there. Same with Moschetti. Peloton's rejoining and thinning out. A few of these ups and downs are not looking too healthy for them. Let's get the top 10 in each classification highlighted. Except for youth. Oh, same bay has been dropped also. Unlucky day for him. A lot of the riders are now in the... Down he looks here. Okay. A lot of the Global 6 team, they're here protecting Caleb Ewan, of course. Protecting him for the sprints in the next few days. Froome is here. Like Langalotti. Looks like... These guys come back from a shitty, have they? The Jacob Aluna team. Selig and Vercoli have been dropped down. No one's really doing any major, major efforts. Just Enios driving the pace. And the breakaway just been about two minutes ahead of them. We have an intermediate sprint upcoming. Thomas de Hint on the front. So is the Vince of SGM's team. Anyway, go to sprint for the sprint points. No one's sprinting for the points, but it's Calzoni who takes maximum points there. A few more riders being dropped. Axel Lawrence, Luca Menzin, Daniel Oss dropped 
from the peloton. And the breakaway continues. There's still 22 of them, they're still going strong, but the gap is looking quite small between them. There's two major climbs to go. We have the Puerto de Canto and the Port Ain. The Puerto de Canto, they're on it now, it's a category one climb. It's got an average of 4.4%, but a max of 9.5. Few riders seem to be tiring at the back of the peloton as we see Rasmus Tiller dropped Colset, Tessin, Kopecky, Fouché. A lot of reasonable names being dropped here. A lot of the DSM team are down here for Mish, Van Gessel. Uh, Delay has been dropped, the yellow jersey he's setting up. He's going to rest for the next few stages. Still Enios on the front driving the pace for Damien Hausen. Is there an attack at the front of the breakaway? There is not. Is anyone going to do anything on this climb? There's a rider here in no man's land. Who is it? It is Kristen. Fabio Kristen. He looks like he's sitting up back for the peloton, is he? Looks like rider's been dropped from the breakaway. Calzoni, the winner of that last mount of that sorry, intermediate sprint. Nick Schultz looks like the best place rider on GC 12th in this group that could be why they're keeping such a tight leash on them. And we see Archie Ryan now out the back of the peloton. Looks like the team of Peter Luz is now working on the front. It is DeVos. They must be working for their leader Johannesson who is the favourite on today's stage. Johannesson is in the white jersey, sixth overall. Minute 24, still the gap to the breakaway. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there has been a favourite rider dropped from the pack. Who is it? Is it Victor de la Part? He's been dropped. Hotter Pellas. Zari, one of these riders here is, not, is classed as a favourite by the game and they have been dropped in today's stage. Martin has been dropped from the breakaway. Del Toro looking a little bit weak there. Lubas' team not looking in the best of strength now, losing Miguel Unger Lopez today. Here we come to the top of the category 1 climb. Kron is trying to be at the front trying to defend his jersey. But will we see Sebastian Berwick take the 10 points? Burwick launches first, Kron is trying to sprint up on the right hand side of the road, Burwick is set up and looks like Kron takes him in the end to extend his lead on everyone else. Six riders have been dropped from the breakaway, Nick Schultz is included in there and Harry Sweeney, Piak, Colombo, Degent and Ponoma. Del Toro and Vigatillo dropped earlier. Who else has been dropped from the peloton? Quite a few, Nicholas Egg. Lines, but it looks like everyone else who's in the top 10 is still chilling in the peloton towards the front. I'm pretty sure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's right, and then Lopez dropped out of contention because he crashed. Looks like there's nine riders at the front. A minute twenty now is the gap. The team of Peter Luz still working on the front at this time, joined by Pan Paddock. Aaron Gate doing a lot of work. The time of Bolton Equities. Their manager, Hain, is showing their face, showing that they are here to help. They are here to go for the overall. Canal for Tashkent is showing his face at the front, Cantero of Cyril's team. We haven't seen much of Cyril in the last few days. Anyway, a big long descent now as they come into an intermediate sprint. 20 points on offer. Will there be a sprint in the breakaway for these points here? There wasn't at the earlier one, but maybe they've changed their mind. Maybe they care more about this. There would definitely be a sprint in the peloton. Unless all the points are snapped up now. 
Looks like still a few points up for grabs. Who is going for them? Looks like Doobie is going to roll across the line first to take maximum points, followed by Bleaker. Sorry, Biscara. So we got another split in the peloton. A few riders being caught behind. Looks like Roger Adria, Ben Hermans, Simon Pellud. Roll back together now. Nizolo's still here. He's ready to sprint for those K1 points at the top of the climb. These nine riders now have 1 minute 57 on the Ineos lead peloton. Who is the Ineos leader? Whoops, whoops, whoop, don't know what that did. Oh, it's an attack at the front. It is Yetz Bol who's on the attack. Berwick, Ultra Robit, everyone's trying to hook on, but Fideli and the Van Moa miss out. Yetz Bol who launched the initial attack is now setting up. There is now two distinct groups from the breakaway, the Berwick and Othrabra, followed by everyone else. They've all come back together. What's happening in the peloton? It is still pay to lose on the front. Cyril's helping joining in with the pace making. Wonder who they're working for. Vanid felt of course Positivo now showing his face at the front. So you got any domestics left? It does not look like it. Damn it, Positivo. Peter has got almost his whole train here with Grigard there. 19th overall Incorn doing some of the pace making. We are at the front, it is Johansson who is launched an attack. Andreas Kron is on his wheel, they're dropping Arietta, Ball, and then the other five are chasing behind. Who's going to take the win on this 6.5% average climb? Behind, it looks like the six riders have all caught up with each other. There's a big split happening in the peloton. Harry Sweeney has been dropped. Nizolo, Schultz, Fuglesung. Not favourites, but up there in contention. There's only 29 riders left in the peloton. Looks like Burger Du is the ninth overall rider is struggling. Michael Woods is also losing contact with the peloton. Out in front is Andreas Kron. He has been caught by Berwick, Johannesson and Fideli. Fideli, who we thought was out of contention early on as the peloton sweeps up the back of the breakaway. Quite a few GC contenders been dropped, only 77 out of the top 10 here at the front. Andres Kron's got a small 15 second lead with 15, sorry, 10 kilometers to go. Vermoz is dropped, Campanarts, Van Hoeker, Lorenzo Fortunato, Dominica Positivo drops. God damn it, Positivo. Meanwhile, Steph Kras attacks at the front with Johannesson straight onto his wheel. The rider from Bolton Equities and Johannesson, they're both 5th and 6th overall. It is Van Eetveld and G who are responding. Where is Hausen? Hausen is dead. The red jersey is dead. The red jersey can not continue. Looks like there's four riders at the front now. They are reinventing the top ten. Derek G, the best placed of them all, 257 now. He's the first to die. As Johannesson attacks again at the front. Puts daylight between him and Stefan Kras. Looks like the race is going to be between these two riders as we see Steph Kras dying. Now Johannesson is free. Johannesson is going for it. Still 4Ks to go out of the... Everyone else is dead on the road, looks like, Tobias. Johannesson... Leading the white jersey, looks like he's riding himself into the red jersey on today's stage. What a major upset. A lot of riders out of contention, losing their top tens. There's Positivo now, he's in this group with Damien Hausen, Dylan Turns is there. Fortunato, Moniquet, Grigor and Andres Krom will be riding themselves up in the major overall classification. Johannesson's holding a one minute lead over class and it's slowly extending. So we speed up time just to allow us to see what's happening up and down the road. 600 meters to go, it's a minute 20 to Steph Class. Johannesson's about to take the biggest win of the Vuelta so far. Riding himself into the red jersey. 
Stiffgrass is going to take second, but it's going to be between G and Van Etzfeld for third. Who's going to take the bonus seconds for third? It's going to be a sprint between these two. Looks like Derek G has the edge. Derek G takes third with ease. Now into the peloton, it is Andreas Kron who attacks from the main group of favourites, followed by Monquit. Grigor is next, as everyone else struggles across the line. Who's this dubious caught up to the group of favourites? Jeez, look at that. Look at the first six on the finishing page. It is red flag, Belgian, red flag, Belgian, red flag, Belgian. Van Hoeke and Huil coming across the line next. Well, it looks to me a major shake-up in today's stage. Michael Woods losing five minutes to Johannesson. Here's Burger Dewey, is ninth overall here. We definitely be losing that place today to some rider who is better suited. Top 20 has been decided. Any other big name favourites losing time? El Toro. Oh, train will drop the ball. Classic train is my domestic, of course. The real question is who's going to finish out of time in today's stage? Are we going to say goodbye to Fregastrom? Maybe Hamza or Einhorn? 11 Ks for this little bunch at the back. They have an hour to get there. Should be quite easy for them to go 15 Ks an hour. Who knows? And with the major Gruppetto on the road, the, the group with Caleb Ewan. 3Ks to go. They have about ooh, 20 minutes to make it. I'm surprised they're not sprinting now. Next bunch on the road. Sane Bayer making it with 14 minutes to spare. The Jaco Alula group. Ooh, they're cutting it pretty fine there. 12 minutes to go. Malucci, the sprinter for Tashkent, also just making it within the time limit. Daniel Tekla Heimenot. He's got 10 minutes to go. Red Walters as well. That's alright for him. Einhorn, though. Ooh. The real rider on the road. The real danger. He's got 4 minutes and counting. It's reducing. It's slowing it down. He's got 30 seconds to cross the line. He makes it with less than 20 seconds before the cutoff. As we have a look at from this angle, as we see Johannesson cross the finish line, a late celebration. And we have the podium for today's stage. Tobias Johannesson of Paper Losers team takes the stage ahead of Stiff Class for Haynes. Quite a few big time gaps here. We're hoping to see a different rider in the red jersey. It is Tobias Hannesson. Tobias Johannesson of Paper Lose takes the red jersey of Damien Housen of Fabio 10. Quite a few changes here in the top 10. Positivo drops. Michael Woods stays where he is, just losing a lot of time. Oh, Bergadou drops. Still stays in top 10, but drops one place. Best climber, still Andreas Kron. Top 3 in that classification have not changed. Anna Dele still in the points jersey. Johannesson well and truly in white now. And so, so go Spurs go. Still in the team classification. Of course, the big loser of today, Miguel Angel Lopez, who retired from the stage. Oh, shoot. We'll spoiler that at the bottom of the stage. We have the general overall. We see, we see Johannesson drops, jumps five places. Damien Helsen dropping one. Steph Klaas dropping two.
One moment, just gotta get something. Back into it, apologies there to grab some water, it is a million degrees here today. We're starting stage 16, another medium mountain sort of stagey. Looks like it could be a day for the breakaway, but also some great KOM points on offer. Starting on a descent, it is raining so we might see some more crashes today, hopefully not any as big as that of Miguel Angel Lopez, there's Johannesson of Pay to Losers team in the red jersey, look at him, look at oh, team Petrolite, he is looking amazing there, red suits him very well. Attacks have started, quite a few riders trying to get themselves in there. Surprise, none of my Tashkan team have made it in the break yet. James Fouché, I reckon he's got 80 Baruda. He should be making himself in the break, come on. Naru Quintana is probably a big upset coming 32nd at the current stage. Leader for Horvy. So we still see a lot, few attacks happening here and there. If you break of about ten riders up the road, that is Jutz, Boo, Wallen, Michael, Valglin. Let's hold on. Let's get ourselves. Top 10 specifications. It is Lucas Eriksson, Limes, Dina, Garcia, Legalotti, Tolio, Calzoni. Meanwhile, Pelazari is trying to get across. Thomas De Hint and Stolt Mithin are trying to get across. But it's Hamza of Pan Padex team stopping that from occurring. We'll see from is that uh, was it from the Swiss team of Direct Direct's breakaway team of course getting lots of points there but it looks like Malushi and Hamza are not allowing that to happen. There you go, 11 man breakaway with Stussy not being allowed to join. Gap is a minute 50 and seems to be holding quite steady. With a few teams working to try and hold the gap. Intermediate sprint incoming at one kilometer. No one's going for it. Tolio takes maximum points there. Oh, riders from the Peloton, Latour and Doobie sprinting for that. Not sure why the Four is going for that, he's 28th in the point specification. The breakaway now on to the Puerto de Santa Agida. Agida. 3.6k's to the top as they're dropping a few riders. It'll bring Wallen Langalotti. Uh, it looks like a few others are struggling. Martin Dina.
So the Academy Road 2, 5 points on off in the KOM jersey is not here as he does not see today as much of a threat, maybe just that last climb, but by then hopefully the bunch might be back together. There's an attack, Tolio goes, Martin Dean is straight on his wheel and he dies. Tolio takes maximum points here ahead of the rest of the breakaway. The fall in the peloton, Pablo Sanchez is on the ground. Pelo Sanchez is at quite a few falls in this descent. Pelo Sanchez is abandoning the race. Number one, sorry, 208. For so go Spurs go. Vegas Throm missing out on that crash. Hamza also, oh, Caleb Hewen has fallen as he has gone down the descent. His Global Six team is coming back to help him as is Allah. There's a few splits in the peloton. Bolton Equity is trying to catch back up with these descents today. That'll be causing a lot of the danger. And Archie Ryan has punctured, but he is in the one of the major groups. I'm pretty sure this isn't him here, is it? Yes, it is. There's Archie Ryan. He's been dropped from the main group. But behind him, don't forget, is the group of Caleb Ewing. Just got Flume, Breit, Hamza, and Ola uh, Aula in there. So hopefully they can help him to come back. Meanwhile, the front of the peloton is Rudger Selig and James Fouché doing a lot of the pacemaking, joined by Kopecky and Vekuli. As the breakaway climbs, the next climb it is the Alto de Azaki. They drop Levens from Human Powered Health from the breakaway Fouché driving the pace up the climb for Pozzovivo. Pozzovivo lost out yesterday losing quite a substantial amount of time. Hems has now been dropped from the Ewan group as they're pacing him up this climb. Vincenzo Albanese has crashed in the peloton and so has oh geez, a few other riders also but Vincenzo Albanese abandons the race he is 17th overall for pay to lose it's very very unlucky who else crashed Martin from I think that was Cyril's team it looks like he's safe in the peloton and so is Matthias Bice there's two abandons in today's stage. Unlucky for those who will be missing their riders. There we have confirmation. Albanese is withdrawn and Ewan crashes again. He already tried to get back into the group and couldn't make it. And he has crashed out again this time. Don't worry, Froome and Breit were there to help him up. Malushi, the sprinter for Tashkent, is also in the UN group. Behind them is Hamza and Fagastrom. Fagastrom must be tired after yesterday's effort. Archie Ryan cannot catch back up to the peloton. From the breakaway is Dina, who has dropped as we head back to the front to see who will be sprinting for these five points on offer. Garcia and Pelizzari have been dropped. It's Valgren, Tolio and Calzoni that are left. I'm expecting Tolio to attack over the top, but he has not. The three just ride over peacefully. Pay to lose, sending Aaron Gate to the front. Matsworth Schmidt now helping out with that pacemaking. You see Einhorn dropped. Another sprinter gone. James Fouché has been working all morning. Enios losing two of their sprinters. There are a few splits in the descent. A few of the favourites for today's stage. Losing ground. Grigard, one of them. It is Lou from Pay to Lose now on the front. Rasmus Tiller has crashed. The rider Pay to Lose having not some good luck in today's stage. Quite a lot of crashes. This game's in the crashes. It's been a split from the split off the back. Quintana, Sepulveda, and Frigo. 
all helping Grigard and Shaming trying to make their way back up to the main peloton. Pelizari is about to be caught, there's just three men out in front, it is Valgrin, Tolio and Calzoni as they begin the third to final climb. More groups of favourites are dropping off the back. Grigard rides right through this group of domestics who have been dropped. Wood, Schmidt and Miguel are off the back. Lot of riders not happy with the way the pace is going. Pace has been set by Lorenzo Fortunato. He is 21st overall and he is riding for Wim's team. Attack by Tolio, but Valgren's countering and Valgren takes maximum points on this climb making no difference to the overall. Only 55 seconds back to the peloton. A few more sharp descents incoming. Will we see some more splits? Looks like we did see some more splits. Daniel Oss losing ground. There's quite a few crashes happening at the back of the peloton. Zakarato and Manzin is still, he's back on his bike. Foy de Voix is out the back, there's only 37 riders in the peloton but they're just sitting up as we see Calzoni attack the breakaway. Calzoni is trying to go it alone, 1.8 k's to the top of the climb. Calzoni taking more maximum points, now 5 points he is still not in the top 10. It's now 45 at the front of the peloton. Pierre Latour, who missed out from the day before. Where is Pierre Latour? I just saw him. Latour here is in the third bunch on the road. As we see Van Gils just lose contact but gain it back in the tight corner. There's a crash in the peloton. We saw it happen and it looks like Nicholas Egg and Schrodinger are on the ground but they're both up and back in the peloton. That was lucky for them as the final climb begins. The breakaway has a minute, but a minute 20 gap. There's an attack. There's not an attack. Schroberger trying to get back to the front of the peloton now. Three riders, 40 seconds. Not, don't think they're going to make it there today. There's a second bunch on the road is catching up the group of Latour, the Latour group. Behind them is the Quintana group. Looks like the breakaway has certainly been caught. There's Otherberg who's straight onto the attack with Goldstein. Looks like they're leading Michael Woods up the climb. He is six minutes down on Johannesson. On the right hand side of the road is Nick Schultz once again with an attack. Andreas Kron, the KOM leader. He follows Mark Donovan, the Ineos's second leader. Tries to do something, can't quite. The Peloton is split with a few riders losing time. Renzo Fortunato has been dropped. Any of the GC leaders in the top 10 yet? Negative. Up the road is Nick Schultz though and Andreas Kron, the KOM leader. Oh, positive. He was looking dead already. Absolute rest in peace. As is Van Gil, so it's not the absolute worst time in the world. Nick Schultz is only 13 seconds ahead of everyone else. Hugo Huil and Jakob Fuglsang both being dropped. Simon Clark now from Lubas's team. He's made it quite well up this climb. Del Toro, 46th overall. Venet Felt is wearing the white jersey on the behalf of Johannesson. Schultz's lead is extending, it's now got 50 seconds on the peloton. So I'm going to try something, Steph Klaas is trying something. All those who have energy are straight onto his wheel, everyone else is kind of trailing behind. It's hard to think that Damien Housen used to be in the lead when you see him here at the back struggling. Vanette Velt, Tunes, and Burgadu have all been dropped. Del Toro also. 
Hells in, Vengills, and Pozzavivo are at the top. Schultz goes to the top of the climb first. We missed that, but everyone else is chasing him down the hill. A slight gap for N3 for Steven Kras, Derek G, Johannesson, Woods, Harry Sweeney, and Andreas Kron are behind. They have a 40 second gap on Pozzavivo and Hausen. There's 11 kilometers to go. Quite a tricky descent here. It is raining a little bit. I'm surprised that none of the riders have crashed. Pozzavivo and Hausen are joined by Van Gils. Van Gils, of course, expert descender, 68 rated. Who's going to take the stage here? Is Schultz going to take the stage? Was Kras going to catch him up on the final flat? It's really anyone's game here at the moment, although there's 30 seconds between Kras and Hausen. Or Schultz, sorry. Looks like Nick Schultz is going to take the stage. Shift class is not even close. 600 meters to go. Schultz has got this in the bag. Schultz sits up. Schultz celebrates his win. Steph class takes second. Meanwhile, in the sprint for third place, looks like Harry Sweeney and Johannesson. Looks like Sweeney's got the better of ha Johannesson here, I think. Nope, Johannesson has the race leader in third. Getting some bonus seconds. Van Gils, Helsen, and Pozzavivo are sprinting. To complete the top 10 on the road. Mark Donovan, very good work for him. Here we go, turns the best of the rest. As we see the final riders from the top 10 coming in across the line. There's one rider missing, there he is. Burgadu, 10th overall. It's all mixy mixy here as we see the riders completing out. The top 10, Jakob Fogelsang, Hugo Huil, Simon Clark, and who's going to hit 20th? It is going to be Voissard, or Monquit. Voissard. There's the top 20, that's all finished there, as we see no one else from the top 10 here. Look to the back of the road, of course, it's Fagerstrom here for Team Jacob Alula. And Lard, this team, as he crosses the final climb, he's got 20 minutes to make it down the hill. Be a bit close for comfort for him. As we see the main group at the back, the Caleb Ewan group once again, coming in close to the time limit. Okay, with about four minutes to spare, the next group on the road, Melucci, Silig, Vakuli and Hamza, they're all in the time limit once again. It's just Fagasrom now on the road, he's got three minutes to make it, 1.3 kilometers to go. It's going to be very, very close. 600 meters. He's, he makes it with a minute to spare. He is struggling through this Vuelta, but if he makes it to the end, he will feel like a very, very accomplished rider. Here we see Nick Schultz here coming into view from Jacob Alula. Manlada, the team manager, will be very, very happy to see this. A win from their team. Not from Muschetti, but from Schultz. There's the podium, Nick Schultz wins 23 seconds in of class. Johannesson, Sweeney, Kron, the Woods getting time on the others. Still Johannesson in the lead, gaining time on class. As we said, a few bonus seconds here and there. A few riders going moving around a bit. So Andreas Kron in the lead of the best climber. And Delay in the lead of the points. Young rider is Tobias Johansson and Sir Gospersko is leading the team classification. Oh, 
who did we lose in today's stage? We lost Vincenzo Albanese of Pan Panpedic. And so go Spurs, go. Oh, hello, Sanchez. A look at the overall, what's changed? Damien Housen has dropped two positions. Derek G up into third, once again, Steph Klaas in second. Pozzavivo jumps, Dylan turns to take fifth from him. Nick Schultz moves up four positions into ninth. Andreas Kron up two, we lose Van Gils, Reichenbeck, and Bergadou from around the top ten. Otherwise, there's no change in any other one, really. Only Kron up to third in youth, and Sweeney up to fourth in KOM. So 17 is going to be the hilly stage, 18 is flat, and then two more mountain stages to go. Johannes in favourite once again, Woods, Klaas, Van Edveld, Fortunato, Hausen, Train, Positivo, Van Gils, and Schultz. Quite a big climb to start the stage, then kind of plateau, a few up and downs until a final summit finish of the Ponte Picon Blanco. Average 9.1, max 12.4. Jeez, that's a bit tough. Come on, Tash can't get in the bloody breakaway. Riders making their way into the breakaway. Have we established a breakaway yet? Nope. Although now it looks like there's quite a few here. We have Colin Stussy, Edward Sepulveda, Gitz Bowl, Dewey, Guerin, Diaz, Dina, Roscoff, Thalman, Cluckers, Rissell, Schollenberger, Scott, and Valerio Conti. Van Moa and Levens both trying to get into the breakaway, but Tashkent and Cyril's team both not letting that happen. Peloton is now chilling, as now Einhorn, who's like, hey, I want to chase this breakdown, I want to get Israel on TV for good reasons. We have Martha Dina, the Hungarian. Is this three riders from Pierre Latour's team? Roscoff, Guerlain, and Duby here on the front. Wonder how Pierre Latour feels about having three of his teammates in the breakaway today. Pierre Latour, who used to be second overall, who waited unexpectedly. She has been attacked by Dina and Diaz, the two riders from Horvey's team, as Diaz takes maximum points, followed by Dina. Breakaway is now split in two. Pluckers, Diaz, Dina, Lissell, and Ball in the first group. Schrodenberger trying to get across, but Scott, Thalman, Conti, Roscoff, Sipovada, Stussy, Guren, and Duby trying to chase behind. Four minutes back is the Pelahon. They are not content to chase this breakaway. They are happy to let the gap grow. The crash at the back of the peloton who has abandoned no one but Tonelli is out the back He's got a two minute 50 gap to catch up by himself Hopefully he should make it
quite a few sprinters working on the front for their GC leaders there. Intermediate sprint inbound, but no one's going to go for it. We're going to see Cluckers take maximum points there. Oh, is there going to be someone sprinting at the peloton forward? Is there? See a few guys moving up, but not sure why. Yep, there's Calzoni on the right hand side, but Hoik is going for it. Fiorelli. That was another camp. Meanwhile, there's a crash in the pack. Tor is down. Hessman. There, everyone's up though, still. Yeah, Hansen. Everyone's still up and in the peloton. Which is lucky. Peloton, no, the, the luck, just the unluckiness still continues. Puncture for him. He's a chase by himself as his team does not send the Mystics back to help him. Now begin the second climb of the day. Five points on offer at the top the Puerto de la Mazora. We're gonna see attack from the two riders from Hobby's team OE. Schrodenberger and Cluckers are off. It's two riders from the same team, but it's not from Hobby's team this time. What team is that team? That is Sliman's team taking first and second. Puncture for Daniel Oss in the peloton though. He is still at the back of the peloton. He's changed reasonably quickly. Oh, Karel Vak Vakic has crashed and he is abandoning that's pay to lose losing another rider Zorcaratho and someone else in the peloton have crashed but they're staying together Ewan's on the front of the peloton but it's an unlucky withdrawal for Pan Paddock oh shit another crash Moschetti trying to close the gap to the favorites from the rest of the Pelthorn. Any teams losing quite a substantial number of riders. Slyman's team only having three, four, five, six, seven riders left out of the original nine. Lubas's team losing two. The climb meters to the top. We see attack by the Horvey duo. They're trying to be chased by the Sliman duo, but they are no match for each other. Horvey takes the points here. More splits in the peloton as riders lose the wheel on the descent. A few riders have been dropped. Fagathrom, Hamza, Verkuli, Azar fall in the pack, but everyone's back up. No one is losing. Pulling out of the race just yet. Jacob Scott now on the front for the breakaway. They have a three minute lead.
the KOM point up for grabs who which duo are we, are we gonna see attack is it going to be the duo from Slyman or the duo from Horvey or is it gonna be someone completely different ah two rows been dropped bugger one of Horvey's duo has been dropped and Thalman has been dropped as well maybe it could be the trio from Pierre Latour Catella's trio there goes Diaz, he's being a bit blocked by Yet Spol, but he is trying to sprint through on the left hand side at the back is Slyman's duo. But it's Diaz who takes maximum points there. They've dropped a rider. Roscoff has been dropped. Jacob Scott and Cluckers also. The Peloton will collect them shortly. Major fall in the peloton. Paul Double is on the ground. Alexander Camp. Quite a few riders have been dropped. Oh god, what the hell is happening here? Malucci has been dropped. Three in. Why do you keep getting dropped, bro? I don't understand. You've got really good stats, but you just keep getting dropped. Anyway, quite a few riders here out the back. Anna Dili. Wood Schmidt. Puncture for Fagastrom. Fagastron, who's already quite far out the back, is now even further. Will Hamza wait for him? That's the real question. Looks like he's taking that opportunity to attack. And Diaz is going for the mountain points, and he has taken it. We missed those mountain points. Diaz ahead of Doobie. More splits in the peloton as riders just dropped the wheel. Froome has been dropped. Erla, Fouché, Robit, Van Gistel, Van Ashbrook. Not really any big names in terms of this race, but big names in terms of cycling. Up the road is a group of four who will most likely contest the stage. Oh, a three minute gap, it could be a peloton. Still anyone's game here. Jonas Grigard has fallen in the peloton. He's taken a Van Moa down with him, but Grigard is still on the ground. Grigard has retired from the race. Number 46, pay to lose, loses Johannes Grigard, major domestic for the yellow, for the red jersey, Tobias Johannesson. That is a big, big upset for them. Meanwhile, Russell and the bowler hanging on for grim life. They got 20 seconds back to the peloton. The remaining breakaway of two in a minute's 40 and the gap is being reduced. This time at the top of the climb, there's not a KOM point, but a sprint point. There'll be 20 sprint points up for grabs. No bonus seconds, because it is the Vuelta. Even though they lost a rider today, paid to lose is still controlling the pace. Looks like Doobie's going to take maximum points here, followed by Stussy, Sipaveda and Diaz, both sitting up. Are we, are we expecting to be some movement here from the peloton? It is Andres Kron, but he doesn't know it's a sprint point, he thinks it's a KOM point, here comes Harry Sweeney. Everyone's kind of getting in the mix here, is anyone actually going to go for it? No, but it's Breyat who just rolls across the line. Race Radio confirms the abandonment of Jonas Grigard from the race. There's a few splits happening here at the back of the peloton. Only a few bike lengths gap between a few of these riders. Corbin Sarong for Cyril, he's still here. He's hanging on for Grim Death. And we're at the front of the race. It is Doobie and Stussy who lead the Swiss rider once again in a breakaway. Will it be successful? Two minutes. Ooh, two minutes fifty. About three minutes on the peloton. It could be either either game. As they head towards the final climb of the day. The final climb, the Pecon Blanco. 9 point, sorry, 8.1 kilometers, 9.1 percent average, and a 12.4 percent maximum. Few riders been dropped from the peloton. Simon Clark, one of them. Lorenzo Fortunato. 
also losing out. Van Gils on the right hand side of the road, he is attacking Andreas Kron straight on his wheel, Nick Schultz, the man of yesterday is also there, Harry Sweeney his compatriot. Quite a few riders here dropping back, Jetzt Boll, Nara Quintana is gone, none of the GC guys are gone, everyone's still kinda together, it's just one big long stretched out string. The breakaway is only 40 seconds ahead, Schultz is gonna catch them, Kron decides no I will. Before in front, I have died until Mike Woods is up now. Mike Woods is just rolling through them like they're nothing. Pozzavivo is dead. Hausen, G and Van Etveld. Looks like Woods is the only hope. Woods should attack now and then just ride. 4.8 kilometers to go. Hope everyone's using their energy gels. Hausen and Pozzavivo are the last two from the top 10 on the road. Campanas is still here. Hagens. And look at the breakaway has been caught. This group of five here will contest the stage. Wood, Sweeney, Schultz, Van Gils, and Kron. The red jersey is losing time. Johannesson is losing time to Michael Woods. <coughs> Who is the best place from GC in this group. Andreas Kron is dropping back slowly through the pack. He does not have what it takes. 2.3 Ks to go. Johannesson driving the pace now on the front, he does not want to lose his red jersey. Van Gils losing contact with the group in front, Schultz losing contact. There's just Sweeney and Woods now, Woods is just pulling away from everyone, Woods has now got away from everyone. One kilometer to go, Woods is gonna come home too. Gonna come home solo. Michael Woods, the Canadian. Leading for Peter, so, sorry for Pan Paddock. Leading up the climb as he takes the stage win. Second place we got a Harry Sweeney. Third for Stephen Carr. Stephen Carr maintains his second place overall. Burgadu looking like he's riding himself back into the top ten. So we see Gillen Gills and Derek G here. Here comes the red jersey. The red jersey is coming a bit late to the line. Arietto has some energy left. Launching a sprint against Cepeda. Cepeda sees it. And he's launching his sprint late. And he overtakes Arietta to take 12th on the line. Here come the last three who are currently in the top 10. Pozzavivo turns and Damien Hausen. 4th, 5th and 6th overall. Will anyone try and sprint for this? 200 meters to go. They're all going to finish in the top 20 today. Pozzavivo takes 17th as Guillaume Boyvin rounds out the top 10. Top 20, sorry. Are we going to finally see some out of time results today? I don't know if Fagastrom is catching up to Hamza. Just got an hour to go. 4Ks, easy peasy. Seven minutes to spare. Fagus Thor makes it once again. Missed the podium. My mistake. Michael Woods wins the stage, 51 seconds ahead of Harry Sweeney, then Stiff Kras, Burgadu, Schultz, Van Gils, G. Johannesson losing 3 minutes today. Let's have a look what it does to the overall. Stiff Kras takes over the red jersey from Johannesson. Peter Lose losing that red jersey to Han. 
Woods up into fourth, Hauser losing a place. A few moves around, Pozzuto turns, both losing positions. Van Gillis up to tenth. Bugadoo just outside the top ten. No change in the points, no change in the mountains. Youth, no change. Team, no change. Let's take a screenshot here. Oops, all right. Of course, we lost a few riders there today. Peter Lewis and Pen Pedic, both losing a rider. A sprint stage, a day for the sprinters. Delay, Wormsko, and Christoph Moschetti, Nazolo, you and Saga, we all know who the sprinters are. Here we see Steph Castle Bolton Equities in the red jersey. Awesome work by him, a different leader in the race. The Norwegian hand, the man, new manager of Bolton Equities. With new riders, he has made a name for himself, taking the first team from New Zealand to wear a Grand Tour leader's jersey. We're going to see a big break today, let's wait and see. Fouché finally getting in some of the action! On a fucking sprint stage though. There we have it, today's breakaway has been established. We have the ten riders up the road, Goldstein, Guerin, Van Moor, Fouché, Dina, Marcelsu, Vince, Abraham, Kristen, Stussy. They have been chased by Sergeant, Colombo, De Kent, and Abyss. The record will likely not win the stage, only in 2 minutes 20. Intermediate sprint inbound. Will anyone be sprinting for it? Looks like no one is sprinting for the intermediate sprint. There are some from the peloton though. It looks like it's going to be a decline ahead of Nazolo and the Boist for those intermediate sprint points. Easy quick sprint stage. Looks like Global Six and Bolton Equities doing a lot of work at the front. Picture for Wearing Gold. 
winner of like two stages of the tour. I can't quite recall. Point five k so then to get sprint, sorry about that being quiet, it's just not much to say. What's gonna happen in the Peloton, who's gonna be sprinting for it? We see Nizolo this time, Nizolo and Ewan going for it. Ewan taking it ahead of Dili. Happening here, it's been a fall. Trayen has fallen, Vermois, Pellard, Quintana, Dementes, and Fagastrom, who's unlucky enough to fall. And behind them, Heidemann, Ocello, and Arieta. Guerin has been dropped from the breakaway as we have two kilometers till the climb. Bice takes maximum points there, no no contest. Bice has now dropped from the, the breakaway. In the peloton from the descent. Fortevoir leaving leaving the pace, but no, they're all just sitting up, are they? So they are just chilling this wherever the second bunch is on the road. They're pacing, but not as hard as these guys are. Oh, that's what I forgot to turn on these things to see who's where. You're in here, of consequence. No, not really. Cool. Oh, missed the KOM point at the end. Colombo took it ahead of Fouché. 16 kilometers to go, they have 30 seconds on the peloton. If your runners attacking, trying to keep the breakaway alive. 30 seconds, still 10 kilometers to go, James Fouché is dead. The peloton has swallowed them. Seven kilometers to go. They have a few sprint trains already. We have the Nizoldo train on the left. Christoph in the middle with Axel Lawrence leading him out. Oh no, is Christoph going to lead out the lead? Shit. Einhorn on the wheel of Johannesson. Johannesson second overall in white. He's going to lead out Einhorn for the sprint. Peter Sagan's just sitting on the back of Nizoldo. Four Ks to go. Leonardi's on the back of the lead. They set up. 3.2 kilometers to go, the sprint's about to start shortly, 3Ks. A few twists and turns here, this is not going to be favorable to the sprinters. Two kilometers to go. It's still Alexander Camp who's leading out Nizolo, they go around the final corner. Nizolo sprints first, Bestie Lee on the right hand side of the road, on the left is Muschietti through the middle. Decline on the right. Lee takes another stage, went ahead of Decline, then Leonardo. 
Sagan and Muschietti. Peloton staying all together. Except for that second bunch that lost a lot of time. And of course, Fagus Throm, who's right here at the back. 10k's to go, but he, he's making it. There we are. Podium. Gilly takes the stage ahead of Decline and Leonard, sorry, Lonardi and Sagan. Sifkra so still leads overall, there's no change there. Best Climber still ends with Chrome, no change. Points classification, Gilly, no change. Young Rider, Johannes, no change. Team Go Spurs Go, no change. A few riders losing time, let's see if that changes anything in the overall. Vroom, second to last on the stage. Well, let's see Victor Campanats and Sebastian Reichenbach switching around in the top 20. Harry Sweeney and Doobie. Nothing much in the main. Points is fine. Mountain's fine. Youth is fine. Team is fine as well. I will do the final stages at a later date, as I'm too hot, too tired, and yeah, I'll get them done shortly. Anyway, thanks for watching the stream later on. Have a good day, you Europeans. <laughs>